How'd you get our black tank smelling so good? I bought a new product and we're going to tell you all about it in this Midweek Update. Welcome back, everyone. If you're new to our channel, my name's Patrick. I'm Patty. And we're Travels with Delaney. And around here, we're just trying to help everybody better understand their RV so they can enjoy their RV. And exactly. We're going to talk about a new chemical that I found for our black and gray tanks. But before we get to that, let's update everybody on our weekend. We had a great weekend. We, we really went, did. Yeah, we went camping, and that's always a great weekend. We Especially went... in the winter in Indiana. Yes. So I think we're finally, thanks to our good friend Randy from yep. Randy's Adventures, <laughs> she has convinced us there is no reason to keep that trailer sitting idle oh, all yep, winter. That's right. And although I will say our two weekends out this winter have not been anything like what she experiences in Minnesota right. snow-wise. Yeah. But I don't know about you, but I had fun last week. I had a great time. We went to Mohican State Park in Ohio. Yeah, that's over near Loudonville. Yep. And we had heard about it for years. Right. And and it was on our bucket list. Absolutely. And so we finally just decided, hey, let's go check it out. And we did. And we ended up meeting two of our fellow mm -hmm. YouTubers over there. We met up with Following the Fitches, yeah. Dave and Andrea, and also John and Heather from S'more Camping with the Shrags. That's right. And just had a great time. It was lots of fun. It was just a nice, relaxing weekend. We couldn't have asked for better weather. No, I think Friday night when we arrived, it was actually snowing and it was a little cold out. But Saturday and Sunday were actually gorgeous. Beautiful days. Sunny yeah. days. You could sit outside. Um, we didn't get to do a lot of camping. We walked around the campground, but I know um, Andrea did. She did some trails with yeah. her pup. Yep. And um, it was just a nice, relaxing, sunny weekend. It yeah. was beautiful. The one downside to Mohican was <laughs> there was absolutely no cell phone service right. for at and We had nothing. And I needed to get <laughs> um, Sunday's video uploaded. So we ended up in Loudonville at the Taco Bell using their free Wi-Fi. That's so we right. spent a little bit of time in town. Yeah. but. Once we came back, we were outside enjoying the weather. Right. We had campfires. We hadn't had those yet. And yeah, that was really nice. Saturday mm -hmm. night, um, you know, John built a fire. Yes, him nice and Dave. big one. Yeah, nice big <laughs> fire. We stood out there for a while just enjoying the yeah. fire. And then we got invited over to the Fitch's trailer for... Taco night. Taco night. In fact, they made us feel really welcome. <laughs> they did. It was so cute. They had a sign on their refrigerator that said, Welcome Travels with Delaney to Taco yeah. Night. It was it was fun. Yeah, and so everybody um, brought different things. We had brought chips and guacamole and a layered dip. Yeah. And there was tacos and nachos. nachos and and more importantly, it was just fun, fun hanging out. Friends. Yeah. Well, and don't forget also that afternoon we had a special visit. Oh, we did. <laughs> um, our good friends, Mark and Karen Milinarski, were Came able to. to visit. Yeah, yeah, they swung by on their way home. They were mm -hmm. over visiting family uh, near Columbus, Ohio. Mm -hmm. And so Mark and I had texted a few times earlier in the week. And it worked out for them to come by. And it was really nice yeah, to, it was to get to see them. nice to meet them. Yeah. You had met Mark. Mark and I had had mm -hmm. lunch together back in December. Right. But I had never met Karen no. in person. Karen and I had talked on the phone. Yeah. Um, but you had never met either no. one of them. It was so nice to meet them both. Such nice people. Um, they're just they're just really friendly people nice yeah. to hang out with. Yeah. yeah. So And we're looking forward to hanging uh, out with them this summer when yeah. they come out to our West Yellowstone meetup. That'll be fun. Um, just a reminder, we have two meetups on the books for this year, uh, or campouts as right. we like to call them. One is in West Yellowstone. I believe it's July 7th through the, the 9th. 9th. Correct. And then the other one is up in Vermont yeah. in October. And you can get all the details for both of those campouts if you're interested in joining us mm -hmm. over on our website, That's Travels right. with the Delaney.com. Just click on the link that says camp out and meetups and it'll explain what a camp out is and it'll give you all the details. Now, unfortunately, the last I heard, Grizzly RV Park is now full yep. in West Yellowstone. But don't worry, there are plenty of RV parks right around there mm -hmm. and we've listed some alternatives. Yep. And so you could book something at one of the alternatives and then just keep trying to get into Grizzly. But right. even if you don't get into Grizzly, you can still come over each day for all the activities. Exactly. Um, and I guess the most important activities are the meals the that we food, plan. Of That's course. right. So <laughs> <The> food. <laughs> so anyway, we did want to mention that. Yeah. And then I would say the other big thing this weekend was we ended up switching out the mattress yes. in our RV, as some of you may have saw in our Sunday mm -hmm. video. Right. 
so much nicer. I didn't wake up with hip pain and back pain. Uh, I think it's going to work out really well. Yeah, I'm really happy with how that's turned out so far. I mean, the real test with any it's, mattress yeah. or really any upgrade on your trailer is... How does it hold up over the long term? The time. And we're mm-hmm. not really going to know the answer to that until after maybe summer. Right. And we'll see how it's holding up. Exactly. But the initial response was, I went both nights without mm-hmm. any pain. I mean, I woke up feeling great. Mm-hmm. And I haven't felt that way in the trailer in quite some time. And, pu- and the puppies loved it too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nice and so, soft. <laughs> now, I did get a lot of questions on our video about what size did we go right, with. Right, right. So we actually ordered a full mattress, which is 54 inches wide and 75 inches long. The width ended up being perfect. It fits mm-hmm. right in there just like the old right. cushions did. Lengthwise, though, it's about five inches short. And we put that at the foot end. Yep, um, because the foot has that corner that cuts right. off. And so a lot of people were asking me, what did you do about that short corner, right. that cut corner? That's what Didn't need did. to worry about mm-hmm. it because, and honestly, our Betty's is a queen. Right. So there's plenty of extra that it almost didn't even notice nope. that there was a gap there at the end. And I was a little worried because sometimes Bess goes to the end of the bed to lay down at night. And I thought, is she going to fall in that little gap? Because she's little. Uh, but no, she had no, no problem. No, so. we had no issues. Not, no so. issues. So it worked out great. Two thumbs up. Yep. So, yeah. all right, well, let's <laughs> talk about our topic of the week, yes. which is maintaining your black and gray tank mm-hmm. so they smell, well, I hate to go good, but they just don't smell. You don't have a smell. That's what I love. Right. For years, we have used the little blue liquids that come in the little mm-hmm. bottles mm-hmm. that most people use. And one I think the real concerns people have about those is they do have formaldehyde in them, which right. that's really what's designed to do what it does. Break up the material, um, yeah. And over the years, I had experimented with some other, sure. uh, some non-formaldehyde mm-hmm. ones. We had tried some of the little um, the pod, pa- pods. Honestly, the pods I mm, never thought worked nope. well. We never had luck with those. And honestly, the formaldehyde-free stuff never seemed to no. really work well, especially if it got hot out. And so for a long time, we were just using the, the as I call it, the blue liquid. Yep. But the downside, one of the downsides to the blue liquid, if you discount the formaldehyde sure. issue, <laughs> is if you buy the little bottles, one, they're kind of expensive. Yeah. And it's one bottle typically per treatment. Right. You have to get rid of those little bottles. So right. you're trying to find a recycle bin or you're throwing it away. That's the easiest no. thing when and, you're camping to right. find recycle. And then if you buy it in the bigger bottle, mm-hmm. you're kind of guessing how much. So yes. it's not necessarily cost effective if you're putting more in than you, you really need. So anyway, right. last spring break, our friends Steve and Karen gave us a sample of a product that they swore mm-hmm. by. And I got to be honest. When they gave it to me, I was like, there is no way, yeah, Yeah, I thought there is no way this white powder (laughs) is going to control odors. Mm -hmm. And we ended up using up our liquid over the summer, and then we ran out, and out west, I ended up using their sample. Yep. And we found out it really did work. It does work so well. It works great. And it works so great that we have now officially switched to it. Yep. And the product is... Happy Camper. Yeah, you gotta be happy. (laughs) Now, maybe a lot of you have already heard of this, and Patty and I are late to the party. (laughs) Usually that's the case. (laughs) Yeah, well, I mean, we've been RVing for 15 years, but I had never experienced Happy Camper before. But this product ended up being, I think, better Mm -hmm. than the Blue Liquid. Mm -hmm. And so what's nice about it is they say right on the front that it is an organic product, and it's biodegradable, environmentally friendly, and it actually eliminates the odor versus trying to, to cover, cover up, up the odor. Like masking the odor. Yeah. And I have to be honest, ever since we switched this, I have had no odors. I don't notice anything. And no. there always were times of like, something smells funky. You know, what's going on? Right. So, yeah. And if you actually look at the back of it, it also will say things like um, that it will liquefy waste. Mm-hmm. And it cleans and inhibits sludge or crystal buildup, which I don't think anybody wants in any of their tanks. (laughs) So it's a really nice product, and it's real simple to use. Uh, Like I said, it is a white powder, and it comes with a little scoop. Ah. And so you just use one scoop for up to 40 gallons of black or gray tanks. And so all they recommend you do is... 
Like for instance, if I'm putting it in mm -hmm. our black tank, I'm gonna go ahead and put in about one gallon of water into the toilet and I'm gonna add in my happy camper and then it says immediately flush so that it kind of dissolves right. and goes down in. And then for best use, they recommend maybe adding one to two more gallons to it. But what's really nice is you can actually use this in your gray tanks. Ah, I like that. And I that. don't know how many of you have experienced... A smelly gray tank is not Yeah, fun. and honestly, <laughs> sometimes we've actually noticed more of a rancid smell mm -hmm. from the gray than we do our black right. tank. And if you think about gray tank, it's a lot of soaps, yep. shampoos, um, conditioners, things like that going down. And that and tends to build in up. Your tank. Yeah. yeah. And so you can actually use this the same way right in your gray tank. Now you might be thinking, you know, um, that jar, how much will it do? Yeah. It says it will actually do 18 treatments up to 40 gallons in this one jar. Ah. So this jar is going to last That's us just quite a, a while. Yeah. Um, cost wise, I mean, a lot of it's yeah. going to depend on where you buy it. I'm going to go ahead and try to find a link for you and put it down below in the description. Also, if they have it on Amazon, I haven't checked yet. We picked this one up at a KOA, yep. um, but I'll put a link in our shop as well. Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, and you can also go to their website, happycampersworld.com. Oh. Thank you to Steve and yeah, Karen for so showing us this product, getting us hooked on mm -hmm. it. We're hooked. And, um, if you want your black and gray tanks to smell better, then I would recommend maybe mm. giving this a try. It works. I, I was kind of skeptical, and I don't like the smells, yeah. and I haven't had any problems. I don't smell anything. Check that yeah. out. Happy camper. Yeah. All right, everybody. <laughs> Have a great upcoming weekend, and until next time, we'll see you. On down the road. Good night.